got this box from my husband. There are a lot of fun stuff in here and Easter eggs and we are soon having Easter so I thought why not use some of all of these pieces here for some kind of Easter uh, scenery in miniature. So that's what we are going to do today. So I planned out on a piece of paper where to put everything and I cut out two pieces of uh, wood in I think that was 15 by 15 centimeters and I am gluing them together like you see here. I wanted to have something that kind of stops the scenery in one of these ends so I made this end piece here and I'm gluing that to the side of all of this. And then I am going to leave the glue to dry. I looked on Google for some wood pattern and I found this pattern here and I printed that out on a self-adhesive paper, so um, sticker paper. And then I'm just cutting off the white piece around the border here and I'm using that for kind of a wallpaper on the inside two walls here, just like this. Um, and I can just uh, take the bagging of this paper off and then stick it to the walls. And I am using my exacto knife to cut off the rest of this paper so that it fits perfect on the wall. And I'm doing the small wall as well, so that that is covered also. It wasn't quite long enough, the last piece that I had, so I'm just connecting another piece with it so that the pattern lines up. Uh, we won't be able to see this when we are all done. And then I'm just again using my uh, X-Acto knife to make sure that everything is nice and flush. I glued some paint stir sticks together uh, so that they were wider than before. And then I glued two pairs of that on top of each other to make them higher. Then I took two normal paint sticks and just glued these together. I'm using paint sticks here because the height of these are just perfect. So this is going to be a stair uh, staircase, is that the word for it, uh, in front of this little door here. After the glue was dry, I glued these two parts together into the stairs that we're going to use for the door. Now to the door. I wanted to do something around the door frame here, so I took my air dry clay, this is just a paper clay, and I uh, made kind of rocks all the way around here, um, but it was falling off without any kind of glue or adhesive underneath. So I took my glue and just placed a few drops all the way around the frame. And I'm just working like this here all the way around the frame just one um, big stone at the time. I didn't smooth out these rocks with water or something and I used my tool to make a little more textures in the stone because I really want them to look like stone. And then just let it dry all the way up. I decided to use the favorite color of Ara from Bentley House Miniature, um, the brown. She loves, loves to paint with the brown. And here I am doing it as well. I found that if I just painted one of these boards, then I could use a needle tool to kind of scratch in 
the wood texture in the paint so i did that and i actually did take a long time with this one um but it was quite neat with this texture so um yeah it worked perfect I took a few of these flat circle pieces uh, that was in the box and I just uh, popped some of this air dried clay on there and made a little texture in there so that they look like stones um, and I actually think they came out really neat as well. So the rocks around the door I painted every second of them yellow and all the rest of the stones here i painted in a um not too light green but in a lighter green and here you see the result then i took some white paint and i painted the stairs and the stones then i used this flat brush i actually cut off the point of this brush and I am uh, dapping some white all over the green and the yellow stones here on this um, door frame. Then I mixed a light brown colored paint here and I dipped that all over the stone as well and on the stairs and the four smaller stones for the uh, grass piece. Um, so I just did that all over. Okay, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Okay, there's nothing in there. So this one, if you turn it in. So this one, now it's mailing. Mm-hmm. Like that. And like that. And then you come in three times with this one. Okay. It's very dark, isn't it? It's more than that, isn't it? I wanted to make a dark wash on these stones to really bring out the cracks in them and I'm not good at washes so actually my husband that have been painting uh, figures for a long time when he was younger he was here telling me how to mix uh, water and black paint together to make a really really thin wash and then you could use that on top of the stone he actually took a lot of time helping me to see how to do this um, and it actually turned out really really neat i'm not gonna show you the whole process here but you can see he mixed the black paint paint into a very very thin watery thing um, and then he's just dabbing it onto the stones here so that it is kind of placing them itself in kind of small pools where there are uh, crevices in these uh, rocks here and that is going to highlight these rocks crevices and indents so you really can see the patterns in the rocks then i glued the done door with the stairs into this little scenery and I just noticed that I didn't paint the handle so I'm just gonna use my uh, gold ink to paint the handle here but that's the door finished. This little mailbox is going to hang next to the door and I need something on the back here otherwise the, this little top piece won't open so I will glue on a stick there later but I'm using this sky blue color and I'm just painting the whole mailbox inside and out and then I'm just taking few pieces of paper that I am sticking together with some tape to make sure that I have the right size for the grass piece I have this paper grass that I'm going to cut out to place here then I am taking the stones and placing them where I want them and drawing the outline of each of the stones. 
I then cut out the places here where I want the stones so that I can draw that onto my grass paper. I place this paper right side up on my desktop and then I am placing the grass over that and turning both parts around, drawing the outline of this um, piece of paper onto the grass and then taking my time with cutting the grass so that it fits onto my little scenery. Then I took my glue and I glued this piece of grass down onto my scenery making sure that everything is glued really well in place. I have these cool Easter nail uh, water decal pictures um, and uh, they are for nail art uh, but they are perfect for miniature so I am using them to decorate this little mailbox. I do not show that right here, but when this was all dry again, I used some glaze to glaze the whole mailbox out on the outside. This way um, these water decal pictures are a little more safe in the scenery. Then I glued the four rocks in place and I had to hold this quite a long while uh, while the glue was drying. So if you have a hot glue uh, gun that might would have been better. I don't know why I didn't use that. But here my rocks are in place. Now for the mailbox I have this little uh, stir stick that I am going to use on the back side of the mailbox. Otherwise I won't be open. Uh, able to open up the mailbox when it first is uh, glued to the wall. So I glued these two pieces here of the stir stick onto the mailbox and then those two pieces onto the wall where I wanted it next to the door. That will be all for today. There is still a lot to do on this little scenery. We have the rabbit, the wheelbarrow and a lot of Easter eggs. So we will be working on this next time as well. I will see you next week. Happy crafting.